In neighbouring Syria, over 20,000 civilians remain trapped in the five ISIL-held neighbourhoods of the city of Raqqa. The UN has called for a humanitarian pause there, branding it the worst place on earth, with civilians suffering from terrorists as well as the heavy fighting. I, I cannot think of a worse place on earth now than in these five neighbourhoods for the and for these 20,000 people. There is uh, uh, constant air raids from the coalition. So the casualty, civilian casualties are uh, large and there seem to be no real escape for these civilians. Meanwhile, rights group Interna uh, Amnesty International's new report quotes civilians who've managed to flee the city. One says residents do not know how to save themselves, with some running from one place to another only to be bombed there. We discussed the dire situation with David Swanson from the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. The humanitarian situation for the up to 25,000 civilians still trapped in Raqqa City is nothing short of dire. Access to safe drinking water, food, and other basic services are at an all-time low, with many residents relying on food they had stored up earlier on to survive on. Equally disturbing is the fact that health access is very, very poor. There are very few doctors on the ground. There's currently only one functioning hospital and our unit in the ISO controlled part of the city. So it is extremely difficult. The only way we can provide assistance to those people who have fled, and as you are well aware, more than 75,000 people have fled the city since the offensive began in June of this year, is when they reach the outside in the areas in which they're displaced to. That is the only way we can reach people at the moment.